everyone, so it is Irene and I am getting ready to head out. Um, I have some blue jeans, a wallet, and a clear umbrella in my hands. I have a wedding this morning. I just left David and Luna asleep in the, my neighbors are looking at me, and there is my neighbor's gardener on the side making a lot of noise, so I do apologize about that. So just to kind of recap, because I don't know if you could hear me on the last one, um, or the last clip because there was a lot of noise outside. Um, I am getting ready to head out for a, a wedding today. It's a split wedding. Um, this is going to be not a typical wedding, but a typical Saturday for a work from home mom, or um, I guess you would say a work from home. Um, it's not really work from home because I go out still, but the majority of my week is working from home. Um, but yeah, uh, just a working mom, a uh, working photographer mom that has a family at home sleeping and still managing to keep work going and have family time with them. So today's a, a great example um, of how I kind of split that. So today's a split day wedding and what I'm planning to do is start the ceremony. The ceremony's early in the day and the reception's going to be much later in the evening. So right now it's about 9 a.m. Um, Luna should be waking up soon so David will be with her. Um, he'll probably get her ready because midday today in the afternoon um, they're going to have uh, bubbles downtown at the Hemisphere Park and Luna loves, 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 loves bubbles. So we are pretty excited about that. They're gonna have a lot of fun events for the kids. It's supposed to rain. I had my hair down, it's just so humid, so I went ahead and tied it back up. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it out to the bubbles, but that is the plan. It's something that we saw on the calendar um, a, couple of, um, a couple of weeks back. And so this wedding was one of those last minute bookings. Um, so it really worked out to my advantage because I was like, well, it's a split wedding. Um, I know that my, I have this plan for my baby, so it's going to, it's not going to interfere with family time, which is really important to me. I want to make sure that um, the work that I'm doing is still providing me time to spend with my family because the majority of events that we do, they do take place on the weekends. Uh, most weddings are anywhere between six to eight hours, full day weddings, 10 hours. So they are long days. And... Um, this is kind of the exception because it's a smaller wedding. This wedding is going to be a total of about five hours. But like I said, um, package is going to be very similar. W what we don't give them in hours of coverage, we make up with in product. Um, and because I'm, they're still they're still really taking my day. So this is a very unique circumstance, but something that I'm still willing to provide for my clients um, because it's still it's not taking away from my day. So I'm really excited about this. The couple are absolutely beautiful. I, have, I haven't actually met the couple in person, but I've met um, the groom's mother, Abby, and she has been my contact or my point of contact this whole time, and I absolutely love her. She is such a sweet soul. She's very creative, very quirky, and I just couldn't say enough good things about them. They're, they're just a very sweet family. So I'm heading out there right now. We're gonna capture a little bit of getting ready. I'll see how much I can use this. Um, I'm using my cell phone today because we did have an incident where we dropped, <laughs> not anybody particular, but I accidentally, I'll take blame for it. I accidentally knocked over uh, the Sony camera, our vlogging camera yesterday and it seems to be working fine. We did a little bit of testing of it last night, but because it was dark, I couldn't tell if it was focusing. Um, I just, I, we, I just couldn't, we couldn't do a full assessment. So we we're gonna wait for today to do it. Um, unfortunately, I'm really excited about doing a vlog and trying to get back in here and provide some some vlogs or just like some videos for you guys um so what i decided to do was i'm just going to use my cell phone for today or the beginning of the day and hopefully be able to like test it out once we get to the hemisphere park where i'm not rushed i'm not working and i can actually focus on it so for now i am using my cell phone so if the quality is different or you can kind of see it jump i hate when that happens so please excuse it but you know what you use the tool that you have available and you make it happen and so that's what I'm doing all right peace see you in a bit
Okay, so I just arrived to my client's house and we are going to take a look and see what condition everything is in, if they're getting ready to go. I see that the limo just arrived. And so, yeah, uh, we're doing just a few getting ready shots. I don't know if I'll be able to video it or not, if we'll have time, but if not, I will keep you posted. Um, so I'm super excited about it. I'm sorry I keep talking weird. I'm just trying to, I didn't, this isn't scripted or anything like that as everyone's I'm sure familiar with. Um, so I'm just really trying to wing it and let you know ooh, the play by play of what's going on so um, here we go all right so I just finished up the wedding we are heading back or I'm heading back um, to the house to go pick up David and Luna. Um, we had something planned. So I was here at the little church of La Vita. I'm actually right behind it right now. You can see that stained glass window. Ooh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna be heading back because we're coming back downtown today. Um, there is a Bubbles in the Park event going on here at the Yanaguana Park, the Hemisphere. And as I mentioned, Luna loves bubbles. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go pick them up. That way we can come back here and have some family time before I go back for the remainder of the reception, which is going to happen later on this evening. So we shall see. I'm also possibly going to be testing out uh, the Sony to see what kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, to see what kind of shape it's in. So we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed that that um, camera is still working. But all right. See you soon. All right, so I am home. I did talk to Luna and, Vic and David. Sorry, I don't know why I was gonna say Victor. Um, I did talk to David and he did say that Luna is awake, that she is a little fussy and that it's only cause she heard my voice, but she found a hiding spot and she wants to hide from me. So I am getting ready to come into the house and see if I can find her. So let's go find her. Oh, we found another one. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah. right we're getting ready to take off. Oh, look, here she goes. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> Blow on him. Shake it, shake it. Oh. Woo! Shake it. Yeah. Here, we got a baby yeah. under the tire here. Yeah. Got a baby under the tire. Yeah, yeah pull it. Come here. Uh, shake it, blow it. Give it a good blow. No. Hey! Hey! Well, because you wouldn't let me put your hair clips. Oh. <laughs> right, so we're about to head out, um, get a little lunch. This is the camera. Part two. See how, it, how, it's, how it's holding up because we dropped it yesterday. And I feel like it's not focusing like it should. But maybe it is. I don't know. So this is like the... The video that's going to test. Uh-oh, we got a runaway child. So we'll get her. I'm watching her. <laughs> so, he doesn't know what I've said earlier about, because he, he's just coming into our vlog today. Um, my day started at 9 or 8 a.m. Um, but I did mention earlier about that, that I was vlogging with my iPhone because, I'm sorry, we're kind of keeping an eye overhead because our child's running wild. Um, she is savage. But <laughs> um, I did... I did mention in the vlog earlier that um, that we dropped the camera, so I wasn't working with it early today, but I still did some video because you use what you've got with you and what you can make happen. Stay right here, baby. Stay right here. So this is our first attempt at using it, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so let's see how it goes. I'm hoping that it isn't broken because this is my favorite camera. Also, on a side note, this is a lot of wind going on. Actually, some good amount of wind going on right now, so this is a good test of those little wind muffs that we got we, we install on those cameras so. do you want to say something Luna hi Grandpa. hi there you go. why are you wearing why are you wearing this baby <laughs> bib a baby no, okay. You, okay she's a baby okay well we're gonna grab the knee is that for the rain for the rain yeah cover your head so your head don't get wet that's good baby all right yeah. Mama's gardening out here. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. This looks like 
Okay, that's just wings. I swear it feels like something. Just right here, but no. Luna, pull one off and show Daddy what it smells like. Pull this one. <laughs> pull one so Daddy can smell it. The flower, not the flower. Okay. The leaf. Pull off a green leaf. Give him a green leaf. No, 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 no. Give him a green leaf. Mm. Pull a leaf off. Mm. Pull one of these, look. One of these right here. Pull one of this one. Pull one mm. of, pull that one. Yeah. A little sage. Mm -hmm. Oop. Um. Um. Okay. What else we got going on in here? You got a little, I'm drawing a little peep on the ground here. Look, this is me and Luna. Look, 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 look. I laid down, she was snuggled into me. <laughs> that was your mama? I'm mama! find a car a lot mm -hmm. yeah it's good play I'm listening keep playing it's good forgot to wrap up this video but I just had an exhausting day um, I ended up staying a little longer at the wedding because they went over their time a little bit which was fine everybody was having a great time um, it was a beautiful day I had a lot of fun despite the weather Luna and I still had a great time Luna had a good time with daddy she is worn out, so she is laying down here with me, resting, and I'm getting her ready to watch some of my favorite shows, catch up on just some TV and Netflix and chill, I guess, <laughs> with my little one beside. I'm Netflix and chilling with Luna. <laughs> yeah, this is a day and the life of Irene at Expose the Heart. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, keep watching this wasn't really like thought out completely I don't even know how great this video is going to be but um, this is my attempt so the more I do them I'm sure the better they'll be thank you so much for watching peace okay so we're done with the day and it looks like the camera is still focusing correctly I think what the issue was the other night with it not focusing on me I forgot that I had programmed the um, the face detection to detect Irene before it detected me. So when I was like in the shot with her, it was focusing on her first, and then it was focusing on me. But like right now, while while I'm recording, I see that the square is like locked onto my face on the face detection on the camera on the screen there. So um, I think the camera is good to go. The drop did not affect it. Did not affect the focusing. Uh, that's good to know because I don't want to be going through these cameras left and right. But um, yeah, alright, till next time.